Okay, you have decided to go on a quest to put an end to these brutal killings. Yeah, that's right. You decided, not me. <laughs> what? Well, I volunteered. I volunteered. I volunteer as tribute. Is this like one of those things where we knew about the future, then we rubbed our memory so we wouldn't know? No, that was my Eberron campaign. Put an end to these brutal killings. So that I did was just imagining all the monsters. Rumor holds that Black Fang is living in an old cave not too far from town, which has been used as a den for many monsters over the years. You've gathered your gear and are now approaching the entrance to this dungeon. Now I go But you still have a few moments to get to know your fellow adventurers. So, why are you at? <laughs> why are you here at? I am Klein. You are you are Klein. I am Bluff. <laughs> you am Bluff. My Bluff is zero plus zero plus zero, and then it equals a plus zero. <laughs> So you're net, you am Bluff. I am per Perceptron. Should we try and do this legit ass, or are we just gonna fuck about? No. Have you met us? Mm -hmm. Have you met us seriously? Yeah, it's us? true. <laughs> it's well, when we're, when I do DM a campaign, it generally tends to go to the serious, but I don't think I can do it this one. This is just the first encounter occurs. Oh wait. No. <laughs> <laughs> what did I just say? Rock falls, everyone dies. <laughs> the ground falls beneath you. You're terrible adventurers. God punishes you. Rock falls, everyone dies. Exactly. Okay, draw the mossy cut. No. <laughs> Just deliberately read really, really the lot Wait, what's NG alignment mean? Neutral good. Ah, NG. No. At last, the dungeon is inside up ahead. Did you say a vast? Yes, At I last. said a vast. <laughs> it's not skulls and shackles. The entrance looks more like a cave than the front door of an underground fortress. A curtain of thick green moss hangs over the entrance, hiding what lies the moss beyond. On fire. With what? Yeah, reasons? what? What? What's you, what have you got that you can uh, light on fire? Uh, can you let me finish first? Nope. Yeah, exactly. Also, it's moss. I do it Thick with green ability. moss hangs over the entrance, hiding what lies beyond. Standing in front of the entrance is a menacing old stone statue of a warrior. I right there. Use diplomacy. On, on the, the statue. On the statue. Yes. Okay, roll. What do I roll? It? Speak friend and enter. Roll. You oh, talk to something. the statue, and it says you're an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> you actually looked at the book. <laughs> okay, I, I roll. I roll my. Uh, let's see. I search for traps. No, wait, wait. I want to do. I want to do an arcan a uh, history check. Oh, nerd. So to see if uh, I know anything about the statue or the area. So, 6 plus 7, 13. There's nothing nothing important or historical about the statue, but the area is known for monsters. Okay. <laughs> well, there's nothing about fucking history checks. It was said it was crafted in the... Well, no, the he, he just DM'd the fuck out of that. In the visage of a great conqueror. No one knows his name, no one knows what he did. No one even knows that he's a conqueror. It just says conqueror scroll or on maybe, the face. Maybe the statue is of a guy who got turned to stone. Yeah! And then someone wrote cock but on, it's the face. Not. on the face. <laughs> on the footplate, someone just wrote cock. Now he's lit Test like that forever. Detect magic. And I detect that <laughs> Petey can totally <laughs> talk. <laughs> Isn't Petey the dog or the, it's the, the, the dire yeah. rat? Oh, yeah. <laughs> the dire fell owl. Hey, guys! No! No! Well, the dire fell owl. Alright, what are we doing? There's the statue. Okay, okay. We, so we see the statue, Jason tried to talk to it, and I tried to see if it was anything interesting. Okay. So as we walk past it, Shut I up! See if it's so he's moved over to the statue. He's DMing, then? yes. Okay. Well, no, I, I like hung back, kind of like warily, magic pouring over my knowledge in my mind palace. Okay. Some Sherlock palace. Holmes. The curtain of moss suddenly parts, and a pair of small green creatures with melon shaped heads and toothy mouths charge out, swinging crude swords. <laughs> These are goblins, a common pest that lives in the hills. Howling battle cries, they charge to attack. Can we turn to look at them? Not melon monsters. Um, I think you would be surprised. Okay, so they get an attack. Because like... nobody bothered to, you know, set up. They just went and spoke to a fucking statue. <laughs> hey, I was doing legit things. <laughs> We're prepared. Fuck those Roll guys, right? initiative, suckers. What does? 20. What, I get 12, and then do I have an initiative bonus? I got a 4. What was I rolling for? Initiative. I have a 4, mm. plus a 2, and I have a plus 6, <sighs> plus 4, so I have 10. I have 12. You got a 10? Well, I got 6 here. Yeah, I said 4. Oh, shit. Right. So, what did you get? 12. 10. 12. I should have used Detect Magic. Huh? I should have used Detect Magic. Do, 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 On do, what? Do, do, do. The statue? I don't know why I'm putting an L. Detect Magic <laughs> within 60 feet, so... It's like an aura of... Detect magic. Oh, let's beat the sound. Alright, Holy Diver, Shaw Leave from Venture Brothers. Uh, I thought you meant Dio. Something like, what the fuck? Did no, you it say was a red design. It was a. 
You sounded like G.I. Joe. Oh, it's I. Yeah. Okay. And I wish I had big flaming tits. I miss my breasts. Inside of me, there is a woman screaming to be heard. That's just me. Okay. So, the first goblet. Who charges? Name? Gerald attacks. Jason. Gerald is hungry. Jason can see him licking his lips. And Jason he notices he's totally been working attack. out. What languages can the goblins speak? Nothing. Parcel Nothing. Tongue. These are just stupid goblins that can only like growl. Oh, so they're like Falmer or something. Parcel yeah, tongue. Pretty much. Parcel There's tongue. nothing about it. It's not language, Harry so. Potter RPG. <laughs> I'm sure that's a fucking supplement somewhere. It's What's probably your a Gurps class, game. Jason? <laughs> what? What's your armor class? Uh, I'm thinking about getting DC DC superheroes. Armor class is 17. Yeah, the goblin's crude short sword just bounces off your armor doing absolutely nothing. Should we get DC superheroes? Would you guys play that? I'd play know, that. I don't know what that is. And it's a tabletop now DC superheroes game. Oh, goody. Okay, I... Roll for 30 stupid. feet. I use... Um, Ray of Frost. 30 feet is 6 squares, so... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Okay, I use Ray of Frost. What, you mean a cone of coldness? Uh, 1d20. Uh, what's its touch armor class? 13. Okay. Oh, kids, we're outside expanding 14, it hits. We were inside expanding hey, our minds. Hey, you're not the DM. You don't no. say when shit hits. It did. <laughs> you're not <laughs> even okay. supposed to know the armor class. Okay, well, I 14 against touch armor class. Yeah, it's a hit. Okay, how do I roll a d3? Uh, the triangle. That's a d4. Just roll a d6, 1 and 2 is 1. Oh, okay, yeah. 3 and 4 okay. is 2. Rolling. 3. So 2. Wham, bam. 2 damage. Okay, hits the goblin. Does it have any bonus effects? Like... Uh, cold damage. Uh, the goblin is chilled and can move one less square. Okay, so team. chilled is basically slowed? Yeah, well, I just made that up. Okay. <laughs> House ruling. That's G. Well, right he's there. got hit with a frost beam. Yeah, alright, house rules, down. let's go. Okay, and now it is Jason's turn. I use. Remember, some pa powers can only be used once a day. The ones with the checkboxes can only be used once daily. No, no, no. Other, on the left, the right hand page, where it says abilities. Uh, spells or. Is that same feats? No, under feats and equipment. Fighters do not cast spells. Okay. Um, I. Melee attack. Okay. Let's Roll. see your sheet. Why do I roll? Roll for a d20. D20 always when you start an attack. 14. Oh, yeah, there you go. You hit the goblin. You can, you can do the power attack thing. It's the power attack. We'll see under there where you've got like an armor and defense and feats. Hmm. Yeah, you've got abilities there. Okay, let's see. What did I you've already attack? attacked though, so. 4 plus 14 equals 18. Yeah, you hit. Now roll for damage. D20? No, no, whatever it says. Weapon and attacks. Oh shit, I get plus 4 initiative. I didn't see that, but what we'll do that next time. Attacks? Well, you wouldn't have changed position anyway. Yeah. Well, there's no weapon attacks on this crap. Here, there. The With first. G. G on the right side. Weapons and attacks. Yes, melee attack is a plus four. Weapon is a long sword. And a... I don't... What? Yeah, the first goblin rolled a 20 on his initiative. No, what do I roll for the damage? The 1d8 plus four. Yep. Which one is the d8? Uh, the one with eight sides. Uh, okay. This one. And go, Diamond of Truth 2. Plus two. four. Wasn't it? Uh, yes. Six Okay, you decapitate the goblin in a single expert stroke. Decapitation! <laughs> Yay! This is what team building's all about. Small animal mutilation. Okay, now it's Fuckwit's turn. Yeah, the other goblin. He's his friend who's supposed to get all jiggy up on that dead corpse because he's freaky like that. Runs at the wizard. He's like a turkey. And attacks with a melee attack. Armor class. Um, uh, roll. Ten. It hits for... Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'll try to edit this to make it sound more tense and I'll basically just put it in like a random rock riff. Jeopardy music. Hits you for one damage. Oh, okay. Let's six off. My turn. And then, yes, now it is your turn. Okay. I... Try and belt him with my stuff. Just give him a wall of it. So plus one. We really do have paces for radio. Twenty. Not natural. But um, okay, so that means I do one D six plus one. Five. You smash the goblin in the face, knocking his teeth in and leaving him to bleed out on the ground dead. Yay! I loot the dead body. Okay. You find a short sword, a dead lizard, an empty jug of wine, 
and two pieces of gold on I a belt, in a belt pouch. Gold. Hey, I demand we split the gold. Four pieces of gold in total. Is he say okay, two gold, two gold each. So there's two, two short swords, two dead lizards, two empty jugs of wine, and two belt pouches containing two gold. Okay, I use. Can I use it? No, never mind. I won't need to know what kind of f***ing wine it is. I have a grappling hook? Yes. Yeah, yeah we always have a grappling hook. And you gain 270 XP. Okay, cool. How much XP do I need to level up to first level? Don't know what it should say. Level 1, hit points 11. I haven't actually looked at the characters <laughs> yet. It's generally up to the DM's discretion, is my understanding. Knowledge Geography, Knowledge Dungeoneering, I just have a check. It's up to me not leveling up after one fight. That's stupid. Also, we don't have the skill, like the booklet things here. Uh, what, these don't Skills. have level up spells in them? No. Mm. So you're not supposed to level up in this campaign? Presumably not. Okay. Yeah, this isn't this isn't 4E, man. This shit's a slog. Look, I had 7 hit points, and now I'm down 1, and I can't spend a healing surge. I got 11. Why can't you spend a healing surge? Because they didn't have healing surges. Don't you have a healing spell? No. You okay. got trail rations. Trail rations? Trail rations, I got pitons. Ooh, cashews. Okay. Now you can decide what to do.